Does it look like I'm talking into a robot penis from this angle? <sighs> oh. Hey girl. It is now day two. Well, technically speaking, because the flight was day zero, you probably already watched day one, and today's the day after that, so although I've been here for technically three days, it is now day, day two. Today is my panel discussion, along with uh, Wheel Talk, Ryan and Becca's podcast. You've probably heard of them before, especially because them and I did kind of a cross-pollination podcast quite some time ago where we met each other, we shook hands, we sniffed each other's butts like the good dogs we are. They actually came here last night in the second living room, which um, I'm quite fond of this floor. I don't know if I showed you the full tour because I cut things weird when I edit sometimes, but there's an entire house downstairs and then there's a second and a third floor. The third floor is where I am because I think that's where all the heat convects and uh, that is where it's the most silent for me to sleep. But the second floor also has a TV and an extra kitchen, which because nobody wants to walk up three flights of stairs or even one flight of stairs for that fact, I've just uh, co-opted the entirety of the, s <laughs> of the second kitchen. Welcome to NTV Cribs. Please excuse the pool table that I never use because I don't like pool, but this is the second kitchen, which I used last night, but it is clean because I am a clean and responsible guest and chef. I have standards and so should you. I've already made breakfast. I've already had my black coffee, the best kind of coffee. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I'll get footage of this, but I was invited, well, Lindsay and I were invited to a couple of like Potter parties and I don't want to record in there, but if I can, you know, you boy, you know, you know. Oh, Stop it. I'm going to see if I can get some footage. And I'm hunting down mat cats and rose cats because I have chemistry questions that everyone else here, even though all the, like, all the best potters are here pretty much, they don't seem to know. But I know, I know they know it. I, I know they know it. So we are now on our way to the convention center at Ensikaka. So Lindsay and I just got back to what we're what would we call this? Like the exhibition hall, essentially. Yeah, yeah. We're, hall. we're used to using like Fanime and Sack Anime Flamingo. <laughs> but this is where the high majority of everyone is. And the high majority of all the cups for sale and all the L and L kilns and whatnot. And we've only made it through about half the room. So the itinerary for the day is to come through here for a little bit and then we have to go to our panel at 2.30. We need to be there by two so that we can kind of debrief and do the things and do the things. And I think we have something with Nivea at like one. Yes. Yes, okay, so we need to get through the other half of this in like the next hour or two. My name is Malcolm Brown. I'm here today at Ensika 2023. We haven't been here in three or four years, so it's great to be back. I'm representing Advancer Kiln Shelves with uh, St. Cobain. Uh, St. Cobain's a manufacturer and uh, Kiln Shelves, Smith Sharp. We are the distributor for North America. The shelves are thin, lightweight, nitride bonded, and uh, they don't warp. There's no sticking, and um, they should last a very long time. And then this is the future plate right there, the Advancer Ultra, which is brand new. So thanks for stopping by. You were telling me this one lasts like 25 years old right here? Yeah, this one is, I don't know how many times it's been fired, but it was one of the first shelves, and it 
had it was in service at least 20 years. Okay. So fantastic. Yep. Cool. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate your time. Thanks. Nice to meet you. We're almost at the end of the circuit. Later on today, Lindsay and I have to be in room 212 for our panel discussion on... Learning through collaboration. With Ryan and Becca of the Wheel Talk Podcast. Wheel Talk Podcast. <laughs> right, so we have to be there at like 2 because it's at 2.30 so we can set up and whatnot. But it looks like we've hit all the big suppliers so far. Uh, I'm so. gonna see if I can find a couple more because I know a lot of you who weren't able to come to the convention probably want to see more stuff and I'm trying to hit all the big names like Aardvark and Scut and and things of that nature. There's so many things it's awesome. I've, I've, I'm very happy with how I've managed to not buy too much so far. Yeah. I also met with uh, Advancer and like for a second I was like yeah I have a YouTube channel he's like oh okay okay and then I talked to him about the shelves because I have one of their shelves and after a bit I was like here's my card and he scanned the thing and he's like oh shit okay. Yeah because <laughs> he saw that you have like he what, saw the 80, numbers yeah 82,000 yeah. subscribers or some shit. And like, so yeah. maybe he sent us new model of shelf and we test it out on the channel. So Lindsay and I finally finished the circuit we were trying to finish and we popped around the corner and there's a big black curtain wall right here, right? Kind of stops right here. And then we went around the corner and we found out there's an entire other section right behind us of all this stuff. That's a, like the same amount of space is over here, just over here. So we have to go there now. Lindsay and I are looking over here at the space that we didn't go to yet. And over here seems to be a lot of the vendors and whatnot, a lot of companies. But the space that we haven't gone to yet, the circuit I was talking about earlier, is mainly colleges looking for people to do residencies. So the crowd over here seems a bit younger and just a bunch of colleges looking for residencies. I didn't know they had this. I think that's awesome. Um, but I, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really need it though. You know, know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Me, they have an entire block booth. So from this end here all the way back there and another like square foot around is all theirs. Okay, Lindsay and I are done with this area now. There's gonna be very little footage of this area. I feel like I gave you a lot of footage already of this stuff. So we are now going to go to a panel real quick and I'll see if I can smudge a little, a little footage for you, but it's not gonna be long. I don't wanna ruin the panel, you know? The thing that Lindsay and I didn't show you is that there's like three different floors to this place. The first level is that hall that we showed you. And of course there's like the reception desk down there and all that where they check you in and whatnot and they sell like hats and uh, like at Sika wear like hats and t-shirts and whatnot. The second floor is a bunch of ballrooms. There's a coffee shop down there as well. And the third room has more panels. We are on the third floor where our meeting room is 212. 
so we're on the right hand side of that but it is truly a huge place and I'll show you right now This place is actually kind of huge, on top of being relatively well put together. I feel like Sacramento's was like a big circle, and sometimes you went this way and that way, and they're like, oh, it's in this section, but you didn't know which way to go. Yeah. This way is just like, just go up. Just go up. Yeah, if you don't see it much. down, just go up. That was really nice. Lindsay and I are done now with that panel. We now have to go to our panel, which is in room 212 and starts in about 30 minutes. But we gotta show up there early, of course. Lindsay and I were walking down this hallway and we didn't, I didn't think I understood what this like middle ground was for, but it overlooks the entirety of the convention right behind us. And, and also on the other side. And on the other side. There's a unicorn convention, I think. There's a unicorn convention on the other side. I wasn't going to show you that shot, but Lindsay mentioned it. So now I, did. I, now I have to. It is a convention of the unicorn. It's like a little animatronic unicorns and stuff and it's all pretty and gay looking and I love it. <laughs> We are essentially done now. I'm going to get Starbucks because I'm American and eat sugar. It's honestly a little bit strange because as I go to my own panel with Lindsay and Ryan and Becca, people look at me and they're like, smiling at me, right? Uh, that generally does not happen. And I realize that as I get closer to the panel that I am part of, um, people are like, I watch your stuff, right? But they simultaneously don't want to uh, like be too forward about it, I guess. So I walk past like 20 people and I get like, hi, but I, f I forget a lot what I'm doing <laughs> and what I'm, I'm uh, pseudo known for sometimes. So sometimes I'm like, what you smiling at? <laughs> what do you want? And then I'm like, oh, right, you're pro probably a listener. Mm -hmm. 